Well, Wolves, now that you've crushed all that shit and killed all your foes. I'm not finished killing off this mouse. Oh, you gotta kill that mouse. I already killed it. Woof. Where do you feel like going to- Hey! You just defeated Manus, the primeval man! What are you gonna do next? Fap. That sound like a good um, idea? Um... You're supposed to say... I'm going to go to Disney World. I'm about to fap. Oh, okay. Here I go. You can never take the fap off. Now, before before you put your hand on your dick, you just remember... It's gonna get glued. Yeah, and I don't know what's coming in the future. Mm -hmm. Um... But the world seems... Give me, give me, have, give me like one second. To be at consensus that... No, you're good. I should do it. You're good. Worst case scenario, you can take Havel off. That's what I was, that's what I was taking off. Oh, okay, well that works. Um, so I'm losing poise, mm -hmm. and I'm gaining... 20. Oh no, Havel doesn't have any poise. Or rather, I'm losing... Uh, equip load. Equip load. And I'm gaining, uh... HP, stamina, and mitigation of that equip load. But not, not as much. Not, not quite as much. No. Well, it was the difference between how much? Oh, quite a lot. It's th these this are is like twenty percent. These are twenty percent on each. And Havel or Havel's fifty percent. Havel's fifty. Okay. Um. And so again, must not fail. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> again. So the idea being here that uh, there's no better ring it, that's going to come it, in the it's, future. It's the of, best ring of the unknown because. So, the, so like, the, I'll tell you what. If like if we weren't playing in a scenario where I could even ask that question, mm -hmm. I would probably never put it on. So it's in a it, game where I don't know what's coming next. I would never. So leave that it's it's option. it's a much better ring the second time you play the game when you know. Um, it's probably the best ring. Okay. Because it's just it's not quite as good as Cloranthi. It's not quite as good as Havel. It's you know etc. But it's pretty close to all of them. Mm -hmm. Um. And the basic deal is that that should be your primary, and you would you would swap out your second ring slot for a rusted ring, or or Leo ring, or what have you, right? All right, let's see if you can move. You are heavy, sir, but that's fine. You played heavy the whole game so far. I did, and now I'm back to fat, fat, fat. Oh, big fats, big fatty fats. What's your equip load at? Let's check it. I'm excited. Uh, it's the wrong screen. Yeah. Your equip load is at... Oof, I'm tired. Okay. You are... 45.5 of 85.2. Oh, yeah, you have a bunch you could throw on there. You put, like, heavier stuff on. Because, you know, if you're going to be... Either, it's either if you're going to be heavy, either, you don't want to be just barely heavy, It's either right? back it off to the middle or push it to the limit. Yeah. So um, you'd, you'd back it off about one headpiece... Being lighter. Artorius' armor was lighter. It was. Um, you could put the helmet on, and that would probably that would probably fix it. But I don't think you bought it either. I didn't buy it. No. Why don't you put the mask of the child on? Hold on a second. Let me just see. Um, and then you can be a little baby the whole game. Let me just see something here. Remember that fucks up your stamina. Uh, I think it was because- actually, I think it was because I, I tapped R2 a second time in that scenario. Maybe. Um, can you even move? Yes, you can! Uh, okay, so... Yeah, let's get all that stamina out. Get it- get rid of that stamina. Oh yeah, look! Yeah, your stamina is totally fine. Hmm. Okay. And, uh, this That shit's is... heavy, by the way. Yeah, how heavy are we talking? Exceedingly. Like Talking. Crazy heavy. Uh, six point eight. Okay. Yeah, we uh, we did check this all again, and and it gives me. Um, I should be looking at the body. Hold on a second. I want to be looking. Boy, at this. this is a tired day. Uh, yeah. Ninety-one physical 91. defense. Okay. Yeah. This this Wooly, if you want to go big boys for big boys. No, I just want to look cool and do what I want. Well then, but then look cool and do what you like. All right, I'm just gonna try this out for a little bit. Why see not? how that goes. Um, but I, I, I might want to go back to cosplaying because that's fun. And I, uh, which I, which guy do you want to cosplay? I, I legitimately Targus enjoy. Targus or, uh, um, or um, what's his name? Uh, Ornstein. 
Um, I, I legitimately enjoy um, cosplaying as Ornstein. Oh, well, why not? So, well, where are we headed? Uh, I don't know. Let's. Uh, you got three primary options. Yeah, here. I've got. I've got the library. You got the library. I've got the, the demon, demon ruins, ruins, and I've got the uh, tomb of the giants. That's correct. So uh, let's go back to the library. Library is a good zone. Library. That being said, if you're afraid of staircases, you may never want to do it. I see. Uh. Um. What, you know it's, how you know it's this is listed all, here somewhere. I, you know how this is all a connected world. Yes. You can't actually walk to Anorlondo. No. So that's not connected. No. It's even though you the cutscene shows you how it is, it's yeah. not actually. Oh, I guess you have to go to Anorlondo and then walk the whole way. Yeah, looks like. So how you doing, buddy? Goodbye, DLC. Bye, DLC. I You're don't know. pretty good. Those were some tough fights. Uh, I enjoyed them. I thought they were pretty cool. And uh, I had fun. I like when the boss kicks my ass a whole lot. And I gotta sit down. Which did you find tougher? Uh, of the three. Of those three? Yeah. Sanctuary Garden, it's good, but it's not, yeah, I mean, it's not uh, on the same level. Uh, probably Artorius. Um, but the, th the thing that was interesting about that was uh, someone just linked to uh, Plague's attempt at Artorius, right? And I didn't know what to expect going into that. Um, because I was like, I, I, I'm like, is he going to crush it? Like, how's that going to work? What I got was, like, the furthest thing from what I actually expected. Which, which was, was Plague standing there and talking at Artorias? With a, sh with a great shield up. Like, it's not even a fight. It's just, I'm going to monologue as we watch his animations play out. The fight didn't even happen. He, he swung when he felt like it. Like, it, it was nothing. Like, it wasn't even a battle. And I was like, oh. Oh, okay, I get it now. I guess... Like Plague's LP is not really an LP so much no. as it's a let's. It's let, a documentary. It's a, yeah. It's a it's a let's. Um, it's a oh uh, god. What would be the word? Like yeah, a documentary or a like almost director's cut commentary, without being the director. I am I am certain that there are episodes in which Eli does not move. <laughs> I'm dead so, certain. And like not making but a I, joke. Haha, he looks at bricks. Like, yeah. But I, but I, I, and I was quite, and more than anything, I guess, I was really surprised to see how the Great Shield just really made the fight look like nothing. Oh, yeah. And great was, shields are great. I was like... Shields. Yeah. I, I was very much uh, surprised, and it made it, it made me feel like, kind of, I don't know, like, the fact that rolling versus just standing there blocking it makes such a huge difference was just kind of like, well, fuck, that, there's an easy way and a hard way. Yeah, but that hard, easy way and hard way changes per encounter. Yeah, yeah. Um, but wow, seeing that fight just not even be a thing was, was quite something. Oh wow, you're taking many less damage. Very many less. But you're getting hit quite a lot and yeah. it's not that big of a deal. I got a backstab on him. All right. I like that they they explode with little fluorescent crystal look like it look stuff. Ooh. Okay. Uh. Oh boy. Low energy. Here Back into the archives. Woo! Big high energy. Nah, no, man. Here's what you do. You ready? Just relax. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have some chill episodes today. Just just chill it out. Wow, that hurt like shit. They did. Oh, you see, they're kind of glowing a little bit. It's because they're buffed. They got the channeler buff on them. They also uh, seem to have more health as a result. Yes, they do. What a bunch of bitches. Well, there you go. And no need to bother Crystal Boy. Why bother? All right, so. I, you don't even care about that guy. All right, channeler. I can't even see. Oh, there he is. He's doing his cool little dance. So yeah, well, is your poise is like... Oh, he's one of those guys. High. I don't know if you noticed, but you took all of that, no problem. Yeah. I can't get hit by one of these arrows. What about the... what about the... Soul Mass? <sighs> there you go. Cowered it out. 
assuming there's no one behind me. Eh. Because I don't know what's back here. Okay. You're not dead, so... See, he moved up there like an asshole. I see how this works. What a fucking piece of shit. Oh, you clunky motherfucker. Who needs speed when you got rocks? Yeah, these guys can block me though, huh? Mm -hmm. They sure got the D. Well, they're the they're the basic enemy type from the very beginning of the game, given crystal weapons. Ah, uh. crystal weapons are the shit. Like that hit sound is not even like a satisfying. Piece. No, it's it's like you're kind of bouncing off like a rock. There you go. And if you're lucky, you'll get a sun. What the fuck? That, that was a headshot. That guy over there. I think that channeler's still dead, though. I hope so. That's my my mentality was that was like, like fuck that channel. Yeah, let me just get him in this. Now that being said, Wolves, if you're if you're gonna go on a fuck that guy path, especially with what you're wearing right now, two-handed. No one can stop you. When you're two-handing it. Now. Yeah, but blocking did save my life a, a, a good many times that run. It's true. So, nah. <laughs> you know what I like about the Ring of uh, Favor and Protection? Yep. Because it has multiple effects, it does not give you the obnoxious green glow that the Chloranthi Ring does. You don't like the glow, huh? I hate it. Because it's cool, like, for a bit or for a temporary buff. Yeah. But then when it's on your body, the whole thing fucking game, it's infuriating. It'd be cool if, like, each ring only glue had the glow when it did the thing. Yeah. When it did the thing that- Like was... when your stamina was regenerating. Yeah. No, he's back. Oh, great. Well, that sucks. Yeah, that's gonna be a challenge. Eh, I wouldn't worry too that much. I wouldn't worry that too much about it. That too- too much what? Words. Uh, once you get past this area, there's, like, a, a bonfire not that far down. So you're only really gonna have to deal with this, like, the time that you beat it. Well, that's a lot of boys. Yes. Okay. That's what Tired Wooly needs. Needs swinging. See what I'm talking about? Nothing to stop you. Oh, You're yeah. fucking huge, Wooly. Okay. Deal with this. So probably... Oh, man. I don't know how they, they, if they're ever going to change it, but, like, one of the goofiest things about this entire genre, not just from software games, but everything that apes this in any way, uh -huh. is the, like, laughably slow... Uh, traveling speed of projectiles. Yeah, yeah, you, they, you, you watching it, like, fly through the air and then impale you is quite Like, something. uh, Battle... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just assume you've never played the modern Battlefield games, Wolves. Nope. So, Battlefield 1942? No problem. Vietnam with the choppers? No problem. Battlefield 2 and anything that takes place in the modern day? There is a slight problem. And that is... If you want players to actually be able to pilot F-16s on a map that you can play on, they cannot move at the speed F-16s. Uh, so they move at the speed that, like, World War II planes would fly at. <laughs> and it looks weird. And it's not always what's best for gameplay to simulate reality. No, dude, they'd be unstoppable. You know, like, F-16s are. They would completely fuck up the balance. So there's a there's a thing like that in MMOs where every now and then they're like, well we were gonna put this um, we're, we were gonna put this mountain in the game like a motorcycle or whatever, but the mount speed in this game isn't high enough, so it will look like you're just kind of like trudging <laughs> along <laughs> in first It'll gear. Look too weird. Okay. Uh, okay. Before and it we... makes it look like shit. Before we hit an elevator, let's see what else is going on. I fucking love this place. It's a really cool library. Uh, I like the library in 3 a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that was a really nice spot. So, uh, because we didn't get to talk to Frant, uh, he, he, uh, we failed to get just a little bit of backstory. And the basic deal is that after Seath turned on his own dudes, right, and was like, man, fuck all y'all, right? Yep. I want to hang out with Gwyn. 
uh, Gwyn gave him the castle. What, Fra wait, Frampt introduces? Uh, yeah, he's like, uh, this Seath? guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Yeah. Right? Okay. Uh, well, I saw the conversation, it was just a name drop. Yeah. Right, yeah, so Seath gets to be a duke. Okay. As a result of those things. And he gets his own little castle, which is the Duke's archives. And oh, is that where this is? Okay. Yeah. And uh, he gets to just do his science. And he's cool, I guess. Yeah, I guess I didn't know where I expected him to uh, show up. Well, yeah, because he's a, he's a scholarly dragon. This camera is awful sometimes. And this mimic is in a place where you can't really get behind him. You know what I would really like? I would really like for the, any game that uses the Soul Series style of camera <clears throat> to introduce. Because we were just we just did the Far Honor Fist Guffs just like two seconds ago, right? Mm -hmm. um, I really appreciate in For Honor when you back up t towards something, the fucking level disappears so that you can see your character. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be great. Um, this medium metal shield is elegantly carved and painted. Although it is thought to have been used by ancient knights of the nobility, its defense capabilities are similar to other shields. So it's it's literally the knight shield with the crystal modifier on it. It's got 100 and it's got 30 magic. And its stability is extremely high. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's an alright shield. But you can see that the durability is 20. It's an alright shield. Which, oh, yeah, yeah. Right? So, so the durability of most items that you've dealt with in the game have been... I don't know, like 500, 600, and you repair them for cheap, right? Mm -hmm. There are items here that have the durability of 20. And they're really good, yeah, but they break. Hmm. They break like shit. Yeah, the idea of crystal is interesting, but not something I'd be interested in exploring. Yeah, look at that. Interesting, but not interesting enough for me. I, I think the crystal weapon path is a huge mistake. It only has one real use. I'm glad I- I'm glad I spotted that. <laughs> it only- I don't know how you get there, honestly. Uh, it only has one real use, and that use is speedrunning. And it's only with weapons that have been- you find that are crystal weapons, because they're better than they otherwise would be. Ooh, yeah, I these, honestly don't know how to get- One of these balconies is a break or something, huh? Oh, is that a mimic? No, that's real. Okay. Because huh. if it was a mimic, you could just shoot it. Maybe from above? Maybe from above. Because, oh. uh, yeah, the, there's no, I don't imagine there's like an opening anywhere here. No, usually you can tell which one's a break. Oh, uh, you might want to finish off going around this path, though. Oh. Well, I did, uh, I, I binoculared it originally. I, uh, I, I glassed it originally to see if I could see one of these, but I didn't. But then I... What do you got? Hey! Three more and we get a really good Black Knight Great Shield. I feel like a place like this should have an elaborate chest, like a big old blue oh, yeah. Zelda chest, as opposed to. Uh, so let me ask. But you, that's also like ridiculous. Let me ask you, Wolves. Now that now that uh, now that you got this big poise on, are you thinking about maybe putting on a great shield? Or what you were talking about earlier? But I need strength for that. Yeah, it's true you do. So fuck you. That's what the video game says. That's what I need. Honestly, uh, the Black Knight shield is great. I'm, I'm happy. I'm great happy with it. Shield. And I've upgraded it, and it sits on my shield. I feel. Once fine. you get that final upgrade, though, son. Oof. I feel okay. So, see what is this contraption? So this is a pulpit. So, see, likes crystals. Am I, am I gonna speak to anybody here? No. Okay. All right. Is that a pulpit? It might be a pulpit. I don't know, man. It looks like we're. What's a pulpit? It's where Brother Malcolm preaches. Oh, okay. Or it's where the valedictorian. Hey, oh, you're, a, you're a person, or something. Okay, you're not a fucking hollow. Oh, that is a person. Yeah. Yeah, you're a dude, and you got crystal the fuck up. Seath likes crystals. Need ring. So. Oh. Yeah, that's outside the window of the NR lot. So yeah. Seath, unlike uh, his, oh, that's ridiculous. No way. Uh, unlike his other uh, dragon pals, which you may have seen, are made pretty much out of rocks, right? Oh man. Uh, Seath is scaleless, which means unlike every other dragon ever, 
he's not gonna live forever. Which is why he turns on him, because he's a dick. Okay, I, I, I still, like, need to see and contextualize anything about this character, because... That's fine. Oh, here we go. Uh-huh. Okay. He's a big fan of crystals. Huh. He's something like a crystal dragon. Okay. Ooh, frame rates. Yeah! You finally got the frame rate to die. Let's, go. Let's see. Isn't he pretty, though? I'm not gonna- I don't have time to look at him. Oh, boy. He's a very pretty dragon. Uh, okay, I don't see a way up to him. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Wow, you are quite tough. Well, better luck next time. Hmm. That came a lot faster than I thought. But wait! You can't beat that version of safe. Oh. Weird. Instead, he's now locked you up. I'm in the Hypogean Gowl. A little bit. And here's this guy doing his lean. Doing the gangsta lean. Now, before you do anything, you do have a bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would that gate be open, though? I expect that gate to be locked. Of course. But that was a death. Yes. That was a death. Absolutely. How are you allowed to... Um... I knew, okay, enemies are just right there, so they're just like, We're not gonna fully close this gate off. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. But we're gonna put you in a cell with... With enemies With these right losers, there. yeah. Uh, how, um... Does one manage to allow the chosen undead to die and then change where they where they spawn? That's a that's a curiosity. I don't know. That being said, Cease real good at magic. So if anybody could do it, it'd be that guy. So Seath seems to have gone a little crystal bonkers. What with these experimented people? Uh huh. Because he's trying to make something, uh, some kind of crystal that'll make him live forever. Because he ain't got no scales. Because he's a bitch. I hope I get to... Well, no. I don't know. Am I gonna talk him? Whatever. We'll find out. What, you think you're gonna talk to him? Not talk to him, or I guess an item description is gonna explain all that stuff, but... Yeah, it's gonna be like, Seath's a bitch. I'm just kind of... The like... item description. Yeah. There you go! You've escaped. Oh, shit. Jailbreak alarm? <laughs> Interesting. Different. Unleash the fuck! <laughs> yeah, they're- they're weird. Oh, Why's it gotta be aliens, man? <laughs> Why- why is it gotta be like this? Why is it gotta be huge, gross aliens? Oh, the key didn't do that one. No, it only opened the one he was guarding. Oh. Alright, here comes the fuck. And those guys are also hauling ass. <laughs> Isn't that great? I like that. Yeah, I do. I do. Nobody wants to deal with it. So you're quite a bit up there. So you you can look down and see like how far those those gooey guys are. They're at the bottom floor. They're working their way up. I guess I'll follow these guys then. This is a little awkward. The shadows are a little awkward too. Oh my god. What the <laughs> fuck is happening right now? What is happening? Holy shit! Alright, let me just... What a fucking mess! Oh, you guys are actually tougher than you look. 
Yeah, Seed keeps the big, cool guys at his house. There you go. Now there is a bunch of stuff down there. Alright, here they come. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't deal with them. Bye. They're so cool looking. Do you not know what to do now? Do you just walk away? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I de-aggroed. Hmm. I'll go, I'll give them. Kind of want to challenge them just to know. Just to know. Just to know. Uh-huh. Well, before something else happens, let me just see what's over here. Because now we got cutscenes going, and... You got weird magic alarms. In this whole... Oh, yeah. okay, that's a path. That's... All right. So, uh, when we went through Bloodborne... Uh, you remember the, the fucking, the, the staircase archive oh, it's, it's and shit? Anyway. Well, right? Okay. You remember that area, the second area of uh, the Bloodborne DLC? Uh, yes. Okay, yes. it was a remix of the Duke's archives. Okay. Oh, so you're not so... F I thought I was gonna leave you all behind, but turns out... Turns out it's slightly more complex than that. Slightly. The Maiden... You set. Definitely. And the white sands. Uh, yeah, you can't get up to me over here. You very much want to read that. Alright, maiden set. What do you got? Nothing much. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. And protection. White hood worn by traveling maidens. It is part of their formal attire, regardless of rank. It is soft and well made, but it does not offer much in the way of defense, making it an ill suited use in battle. Okay. Um, and the white seance, unless the each set, each part of it has something. Yeah, let's triple check that. Uh, no. no. Okay, so white seance ring. Make sure to not use the, uh... Yeah, the let me just do it through this Yeah, one. that's much ba better and safer. I'm gonna do that from now on. Where are you at, white seance? There you are. Additional attunement slots. A divine ring entrusted to the head bishop of the Way of the White. Uh, an apostle... To all Father Lloyd and Uncle to Lord Gwyn. Grants additional attunement slots. Head Bishop of the Way of White is the guardian of law and caste, and one of the great royals of Thoroland. Which is where haircut is from. Oh, I was like, what is that word? Okay. Alright. So you found some kind of maiden slash this Lloyd person. nunnery shit. He's, like, he's got coins and. It's not the first time. Yeah, all Father Lloyd is mentioned all over DS1, despite never appearing in it and any other ever. Mm -hmm. And that one description is actually really goofy because it's like, wait, what? He's he's Gwyn's uncle. What does that mean? Gwyn has parents, family. <laughs> like what? What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Okay. Well, I guess we got to do this. Unless... No. Oh, you're fast. <laughs> yeah, they sure are. Oh, you're fast and, and quick. Hmm, I feel like fire would fuck you up. But only if you can get the angle right. I feel like a nice drop attack would fuck you up, too. Oh, yeah. You might be able to get multiple, even. Yeah. In fact, you are able to get multiple. So a little bit of a d uh, Demon Souls thing there. Hey! See, they're not so bad. Alright, you're, you're okay. I was a bit worried that uh, exactly Demon Souls uh, was gonna happen. They ain't so bad. But you just gotta watch out for that grab. And they're fucking fast and I'm fucking slow. And it's... They're also super gross. Yeah, there's that. Well, what do we got in here? Ooh. So Why would your library have a prison in it? Well, I like crystals. <laughs> Good answer. Now, I, I like crystals. Can a dragon change what he breathes out, I wonder? I wonder if that's how that works. Because, I mean, are you just born breathing out whatever you're supposed it's to? It's usually the case that your your dragon color you're determines just, yeah. your, fi your fire That's breath. the dragon line's rule, after all. But if you're just that fucking... Um, uh, 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 if you're a giant magical being, then, you know, you can kind of do what you want, to some degree. 